What does a longing look and a footprint on the surface of the moon have to do with how to handle those times when life doesn't make sense? Stay tuned and find out on Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who have spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is not only to provide a digital place for those who long to belong, but to bring discipleship tools to develop the church during the Monday through Saturday time in between church services. We are firm believers in the power and authority of the local church. We believe that it's where God's work is done. We want just to provide some tools that will help you during the week to be encouraged in your walk with God, to share your faith with others, to develop spiritual disciplines and that sort of thing. So I hope you'll pray for us as we strive to put together this ministry in the most effective way. We have been talking about what to do when life doesn't make sense. And where we are at is we have talked about don't demand to understand. We have talked about don't forget to be faithful. Don't bow to bitterness. Don't, um, what was the last one? My, mercy. My brain short circuits. Um, uh, well, let me look. I'll find out for you. Well, don't let dreams. Oh, oh, don't, uh, don't forget to wait. Um, be willing to wait. Um, then also, we need to not let dreams dissolve. Dreams are a part of what give us passion in life. The Bible says, "Where there is no vision, the people perish," and that's your nightlight. Where there is no vision, the people perish. We have to have a vision for our life, otherwise, life becomes merely a, a drudgery, a, a, a doing of duty, a, a paying of bills, a a treadmill of work, and God wants so much more than that for us. He wants us to move into uh, passionate living. We are a part of the body of Christ. We are blood-bought, born-again, spirit-filled, dynamic ambassadors for Christ in this lost and dying world that is in its, in its last days and desperately needs us to perform our uh, calling with passion and power. But somehow when hard times come, we become disillusioned and on top of the bitterness that we are, can be tempted to feel, we can also kind of give up and, and lose the dream and lose the fire and the passion. And God doesn't want that to happen. Let me give you a little illustration of this. It started, it started like so many evenings. Mom and dad at home, Jimmy playing after dinner. Mom and dad were absorbed with jobs and did not notice the, at the time that it was a full moon and some of the light seeped through the windows. Mom glanced at the clock. Jimmy's time to go to bed. Go up now, and I'll come up uh, and settle you later. Well, Jimmy goes upstairs, and uh, and uh, unlike usual, Jimmy went straight upstairs to his room. An hour or so later, his mother came up to check uh, if all was well, and to her astonishment, found that her son was staring quietly out his window at the moonlit scenery. What are you doing, Jimmy? I'm looking at the moon, Mom. Well, it's time to go to bed now. One reluctant boy settled down. Mommy, you know, one day I'm going to walk on the moon. Well, who could have known that that boy uh, in whom the dream had been planted that night would survive a near-fatal motorcycle accident that broke almost every bone in his body <clears throat> and would bring to fruition his dream 32 years later when James Irwin stepped on the moon's surface, just one of 12 representatives of the human race to do so. Sometimes we let the motorcycle accidents of life uh, cause us to be bitter and then uh, frustrated with God and, and not understanding, and we end up giving up instead of growing up, instead of going up, and we need to keep our dreams. Um, those obstacles that you overcome on the way to fulfilling the dreams and the visions that God has put into your life, those are what build you into the man or woman that you need to become. So I hope that you will... Uh, Take heart as you're maybe in frustrating and uh, confusing times. Don't let the fog stop you. Uh, don't let the motorcycle crashes stop you. Don't let the physical pain stop you. Don't let other people that are naysayers stop you. Don't let anything stop you. Don't drop your dream. Uh, keep your dream. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for these that are here I pray that you would bless them, God, tonight as they lay their head on their pillow. Allow them to know that you love them and care for them and that you're indeed going to watch out over them in a profound and powerful way. Give them your supernatural strength as they go through their days. Allow them to find and follow your will. In Jesus' name, amen.